to say you are probably one of the strongest women I know because you, I can, I know social media goes in on you and you are here, you are snatched, you are getting it together. How do you, how do you avoid letting the haters dim your light? Um, you know, honestly, my kids, you know, I really, everything I do is for them and I really want to make sure that they know that every single day. And there are times where I have, you know, breakdown moments and meltdowns, not in front of them, but you know, it, it's hard. It's really hard. Like, kind of like, you know, Kehlani, she, you know, she really expressed that like social media could really, I don't think they understand the, um, you know, the hardship that people, you know, that it takes and the haters and like that stuff is really hurtful. And especially when it comes, it's coming from such a personal source. You know what I mean? Like that is what really was like a dagger. But, um, you know, honestly, I, I pull my strength from my family, you know, I, my relationship with God, Derek, you know, my kids. So, um, you know, I'm just, I'm really supported. I have a great support system. So. Then you just take a vacation when you need to. We saw that vacation picture. How was that vacation with Derek? I was like, we're out. <laughs> no, it was for my 30th birthday, and my entire family went. It was brilliant. It was perfect. I, I could, I would do it all over again. It was amazing. I feel like um, sometimes women who date people in the league are often called. You guys get the the short end of. Or even like the curse. People blamed you for Derek losing his job. Were you the cause? I don't think so. I don't think so at all. I mean, I hope not. It better not be. Um, <laughs> no, no, I don't think so. Honestly, he called me that, you know, that morning when he did um, get let go, and he was just like, it was just short. It was, you know, simple. You know, we, I feel like he had a feeling just because, you know, they were on a five-game losing streak, and it's just really a business. I think people really forget. It's not really anything personal. You know, him and Phil are still friends, and it's it's a it's a business, you know, at the end of the day. So I know I kind of got like the Kim K, Kardashian curse. It was like, mm-hmm, <laughs> right, right, right. You done got one man down too. I was like, oh Lord, but um, no, I don't, I don't think so at all. How do you go for it now with this new great relationship, but then also still having to co-parent with Matt and knowing that they don't get along? Let's just call it what it is. It ain't, it ain't Peachy Keen over here. How do you go forward with that? Um, you know, it takes a lot of patience. It takes a lot of patience. And again, I, you know, I really have to pull a lot of my strength, um, you know, on my relationship with God. It really takes a lot of, and really, and, and my boys, you know, every time I look at them, I, I don't ever want to be responsible for, you know, them not having a relationship with their dad. So I make sure that they, you know, stay, you know, in touch with him and, and FaceTime and go visit him because it, it has nothing to do with me. You know what I mean? And I could easily make it about me, um, but I don't, I don't have time for that. So, you know, Derek is really supportive. You know, him and the kids get along really well. And, you know, he obviously helps with that entire situation situation so it, it always helps get Matt on board later right yeah 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 he'll you know he's like the caboose he'll come he'll come eventually you know what I mean it's fine. Um, because things are going so well wedding bells maybe oh, heading down the aisle no no time no time soon we're you know we're enjoying our each other in this time right now you know what I mean we still have so much to adjust to you know he we're a blended family so we have to get that down packed and you know I mean some other steps we have to make so we're in no hurry we're enjoying where we are now yeah. Will you guys do a reality show, please? <laughs> I love that. <laughs> oh, that's funny. You know, I have I have a few projects coming out. You know, I'm doing Sports Blender on Awestruck TV, um, which I'm really excited about. And we, we have some we have some stuff up our sleeves. Together? Question mark? <laughs> <laughs>